everyone, it's Kimberly from Jarrah Publishing. Today your self-published short is going to be on how to create your own publishing company. Many authors don't grasp the concept that by self-publishing a book, they are in fact operating a business. They are in the business of not only being an author, but as also a book publisher. They just happen to be publishing their own book, not other people's books. Before you can self-publish your book, there are certain steps you need to take to start your own business. Um, first, you need to decide on a business name. Your business name will be the name of your publishing company. I suggest not using your own name as part of the business name. Uh, for instance, if your name is John Smith, come up with something a little more creative than John Smith Publishing. You should research the name you come up with to make sure it's not um, already in use before claiming it as your own. Um, most uh, cities and states have like a corporation name search you can use. You can also search on Google, just make sure someone's not using it or very, something very similar to it. Uh, next, you need to decide on a business structure. Um, a lot of authors who self-publish choose to do a sole proprietorship, which is the easiest type of business to form. Others choose to form a limited liability company, which is an LLC. Um, in essence, an LLC will grant your personal assets more protection in case you're ever sued. Uh, if you're a sole proprietorship and you are sued, um, they can go after all of your assets, including your personal assets. If you are doing a limited liability company, they can only go after your business assets because you are separate than your business. If you want to decide what uh, structure is best for you and you're not sure, you can talk with an accountant or a CPA to go over your unique situation to figure out which is the best form. Um, uh, next, you need to register your business. So if you are going with a sole proprietorship, you will need to file a doing business as or a um, sometimes called a trade name registration or fictionist name um, in some states. Um, if you're doing an LLC, you will need to file what's called articles of organization with your state. Uh, most states uh, and counties and even cities have their own requirements for operating a business um, in that locale. So make sure you do some research on in those areas to make sure you're doing everything correctly for where you live. Um, once you register your business, you will want to open a separate checking account to handle all of your business transactions. This checking account should be under your new business name. You will want to bring in your certification for the business when you go to open it at the bank, such as you're doing business ad registration or your articles of organization. Bring that into the bank and open up a separate business account. Um, probably just a simple business account would be good. If you're doing an LLC, a separate business account is required. You have to maintain a separation of, of your business assets and your uh, personal assets um, in order to qualify for those protections that the LLC grants. Um, next, you want to purchase ISBNs, which is the International Standard Book Number. Uh, we will discuss that in another video. Um, you should go to bowker.com uh, and purchase your ISBNs under your new business name. Um, now that you've got everything done and you need to keep track of your money. So anytime you're spending money in the process of publishing your book, you need to keep track of that as an expense. And anytime you're getting paid money uh, for anything to do around your book, you need to keep track of that as well. So rather, uh, regardless of if you use a fancy accounting software or Microsoft Excel or just a shoebox full of receipts, you do need to keep track of that because at the end of the year, you need to file business taxes. Um, now the places that send you money, such as CreateSpace, IngramSpark, or Amazon's uh, KDP, uh, Kindle Direct Publishing Platform, they are going to send you 1099s that are also filed with the government. Um, and they will list all the monies that they have paid to you throughout the year. And you need to report those plus any other income that you may have received that wasn't reported on a 1099 and all of your expenses on your taxes. Uh, most places, uh, it's, I mean, most businesses that are sole proprietorship or LLC uh, will file this information on what is called a Schedule C that you file along with your personal tax forms. So those are the seven steps to uh, creating your own business for self-publishing. Um, you can find more information on our website at selfpub.net. Uh, we can help you with most uh, self-publishing steps, such as editing, uh, cover design, interior book layout, ebook creation, 
and I do consulting uh, to help you with the self-publishing process. So keep, uh, keep your eye out for more self-publishing shorts coming your way, and uh, thank you.